The world of chemistry changed in 1856, and it was all because of this color, a beautiful color that no one had ever seen before. William Henry Perkin was only 18 years old when working in a lab, he accidentally discovered the color that we came to be calling mauve. He wasn't looking for that. He was trying to make quinine in the laboratory. Oh, it was a futile effort. They couldn't possibly have made quinine back in those days. It's a very, very complex molecule. But one day, while he was working in his home lab, and he mixed together his chemicals, his coal tar compounds, hoping to make quinine, all of a sudden he couldn't clean it out. He tried to wash it out with alcohol, and it turned into this brilliant color. He recognized he had made a discovery. And of course, it's important to know you've made a discovery. As Louis Pasteur later said, chance favors the prepared mind. Why was this so important? Because it showed that you could make novel substances in the laboratory synthetically. And that started not only the dye industry, but it also got the pharmaceutical industry moving. Because pretty soon aspirin was made and antibiotics were made, and you could make chemicals synthetically in the lab. Well, let me share something with you. And this comes straight from my heart. It is one of my most prized possessions. And what this is, believe it or not, is a little sample of the original mauve that was made in 1856 by William Henry Perkin when he came to the U.S. in 1906 to be the first ever recipient of the Perkin Award. He left a sample of his original mauve at Columbia University. And every year, they take out a little bit of that color and dye some silk with it. And I have a little bit of that silk here as well, dyed with the original mauve. And everyone who is invited to the annual Perkin dinner, which commemorates his memory and a prize is given in his honor, everyone receives an invitation, a bow tie that is colored with the original mauve. Uh, unfortunately, I've never been invited to that dinner, so I have to make do with my mauve tie. And now you understand why I like mauve from top to bottom. <laughs>